गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई होप एवरी वन इज डूइंग वेल आई रिक्वेस्ट एवरी वन टू वॉच माई वीडियोज इन ए सीक्वेंस फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग इफ यू रियली लाइक माई टीचिंग प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन शेयर द वीडियोज विथ योर फ्रेंड्स सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड ईवन प्रेस द बेल बटन टू गेट द रेग्युलर अपडेट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ओवर व्यू ऑफ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क सिलेबस विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू द गेट एग्जाम any university exams or ugc net exam or any public sector exam which you are writing okay then i will discuss the importance of the computer networks with respect to the gate exam first let me discuss about the syllabus then i will discuss about the importance of the computer networks course with respect to the gate exam okay so if you see the any university syllabus it will be almost like this okay we will discuss about the concept of layering such as osi iso model or people will call it as osi model and then even we will discuss about the tcp ip model if you see any university syllabus they will frame the syllabus such a way that it will cover the concepts related to all the layers of osi as you already know that in osi we have seven layers one is physical layer we have data link layer we have a network layer we have a transport layer we have the session layer we have the presentation layer and we have the application layer don't worry if you does not write it or if i does not write it, because even i did not write about the layers here just i am giving the overview we have a seven layers so we will discuss about the seven layers of the osi and then we will discuss about the functionalities of each layer what is the role of each layer in data transfer okay then even we will discuss about the tcp ip model and then i will discuss about the difference between osi and tcp ip model then we will discuss about the lan technology such as ethernet token bus token ring all these things we will discuss then coming to the flow control and error control mechanisms we will use this flow control and error control techniques in the data link layer and in the transport layer so i will discuss about the flow control mechanism and then i will discuss various flow control mechanisms such as go back and stop and wait and select to repeat in detail i will discuss then i will discuss about the error control techniques okay even we will use the error controls and error detection and error correction also we have to detect the error and then we have to correct the error so all those things i will discuss for you then i will discuss about the importance of switching and what is the switching all these things i will discuss then we will discuss one important concept okay which is ipv4 means internet protocol version 4 and then i will discuss about the internet protocol version 6 i will discuss the why people have went from version 4 to version 6 all these things the frame structures everything i will discuss okay and then we will discuss about various routing algorithms and even i will discuss about the tcp protocol and the udp protocol which we will use in the transport layer okay they are very very important see these concepts are very very important if you are attending any interviews okay either it can be a placement interview or any technical interview even in the placement we will have a technical interview if you prepare these concepts very well how, how you will prepare very well if you prepare from the gate point of view because gate will cover all the concepts in depth okay and the questions are also will be very depth if you study the any subject with respect to the gate exam then you will study in depth then in that case you can easily clear any exams suppose some people will ask me sir i am preparing for placement why should i go for the gate exam then i hope you are you got the answer okay and even if you have one job better you should have another option also is it clear we cannot predict the future so if you have a software job either you prepare for the cat exam or the gate exam don't be relaxed okay so then we will discuss about the application layer so if you see that the lan technologies everything is talks we will talking in terms of the layers of the osi and we have the application layer protocols also then we will discuss about the basics of wifi okay then they have introduced the new concept meaning is that this is a separate subject previously even if you see the university exam we have the network security which is a separate course 
okay however in gate they have added in the computer networks only previously it was separate course but they have added we will discuss about the network security we will discuss about the authentication protocols we will discuss about the cryptography like public key private key cryptography all these things we will discuss and we will discuss about the digital signatures and even we will discuss about the firewall so here we are discussing with respect to the network security so we have discussed we will discuss about the network concepts and network security concepts okay so i hope you have understood the overview of the computer network syllabus now come to the importance of the computer networks for the gate exam if you see that last five years gate 2016 gate 2017 gate 2018 gate 2019 and gate 2020 we have already finished those exams am i right or wrong in gate 2016 also there was an exam 2017 18 19 and 20 so during 2016 gate exam they have given a weightage of nine percent usually in for a gate they will give 65 questions and the maximum marks is 100 so whatever the percentage i am talking with respect to the 100 marks so nine marks were asked for the computer networks course and then they have asked 6.5 percentage for the computer networks and then in 2018 they have given 7 percent and in 2019 10 percent and gate 2020 they have asked 6 percent in the recently iit bombay have released the gate 2021 notification in the press i hope you have all know that one and even they have shared a good news that from this year not from this year i will say this year third year students are allowed but i am predicting that this third year allowing the third years will also happen in the coming years also that's why i'm telling from this year but however we don't know the future so i can say that this year iit bombay has allowed third year students also to write the gate exam so i hope you have understood this computer networks course the importance usually they will ask seven to eight percentage in the last five years if you see that the percentage and the importance of the subject but however i cannot predict in gate 2021 how much percentage they will ask but i request you to study this subject in much detail and lot of people will have a fear if you see the gate previous questions they will be very lengthy when it comes to the computer network so they will think that so this question is very lengthy i have a fear to read the question and then i have to understand and i have to solve it but please remember this point if the length of the question is high, the complexity of the question will be less in the gate. I'm just telling it as a trick, but it will not be applied for every time. Just I'm telling you that if the length of the question is very high, the complexity will be less. So that's why you don't feel fear for the computer networks course. Then I, you can ask me, sir, how should I lose the fear for in the computer networks? Because I already have the fear in the computer networks. Then how can you lose the fear is that, or how you can get the confidence is that, you have to practice more questions okay so that's why in my youtube channel pernika tutorials where i will discuss the concept i will discuss the examples and then i will discuss the gate previous questions also then what i have decided is that i have separate playlist for computer networks and separate playlist for gate co previous questions on computer networks so in this playlist you can find the concepts related to computer networks suppose concept one then i will discuss the examples if it is a numerical problems are allowed or numerical problems are will be there then i will discuss if it is a theoretical concept i may not discuss the examples but i will discuss the theoretical concept in a much detail so that if anyone asks any question you will be able to answer so if it is a numerical type of questions are possible then i will discuss their examples and even i will discuss one or two gate questions also here so that you will understand what kind of questions they will ask related to the concept suppose if it is a osi layers what is the gate previous questions are there even if it is gate 1997 or gate 2000 i will discuss that so that you will understand this concept with respect to the gate then in the this playlist i will discuss some last five years or last 10 years gate questions okay so you will understand all the if you have the understand this concept then you can solve all these gate questions also so because why i've done these two separate playlists is that those who are not interested for gate they can go for this course 
those who are exclusively writing the gate exam they have to go and watch these two playlists also it will be useful so for each concept i will keep a lecture one lecture one lecture two like that so i request you to go through the lecture one then go to the lecture two go to the lecture three like that then if you go through a sequence you will understand these concepts in a better way okay and in the pernika tutorials channel we have already uploaded the videos related to dbms the same way two separate playlists will be there one is for pure dbms concepts and gate previous list then we have discussed about the theory of computation and then we have discussed about the computer organization so now we have started the computer networks you around 125 videos you can check in the related to dbms 129 videos will be there in the toc around 70 to 80 videos will be there related to computer organization so you can understand that we have almost covered all the topics related to dbms toc and computer organization now i have started the computer networks then after computer networks i will teach few more subjects like operating system compiler design all these digital logic design and other basic computer science subjects okay core i accept the general aptitude and the english and the max i will discuss all the core subjects of the computer engineering okay so i hope you have understood this video related to the overview and importance of the computer network syllabus with respect to the university and the gate exams if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours thank you for watching my video have a nice day